the idea that like people are going to vote in Georgia on their Senate candidate based upon 25. I mean, God knows what Kelly Leffler was doing 25 years. I mean, how about like what she was doing like 25 months ago yeah. when insider she was basically trading, uh, insider yes. trading you know? uh, over COVID? Maybe that, I don't know, uh, but, but here we go. This is the important stuff. Um, you actually came in contact with Castro. Is that right? Let me let me ask you about one of those attacks, because um, Senator Leffler keeps mentioning on the campaign trail an incident from 1995 when you were a youth pastor at a New York church, which hosted a speech by Fidel Castro. Now, you've said you had nothing to do with that invitation. But just to clarify for our viewers, did you attend the speech? And do you understand why there are so many people who view Castro as a as a murderous tyrant and, and not someone to be celebrated? I'll tell you what I understand. I understand why. Uh, Kelly Leffler is trying to change the subject. I was a youth pastor. I had nothing to do with that program. Uh, I did not make any decisions uh, regarding the program. I've never met uh, the Cuban dictator. And so uh, I'm not connected to him. I I'll tell you whose names are on the ballot. Raphael Warnock and Kelly Leffler. This race uh, is not about anybody else. Well, I mean, I think part wait, wait, wait. of what his other analysis was, or uh, I, maybe I, I just saw this as someone defending him online. He may have said it. I'm sorry if I, I, I didn't get that right. But like, what kind of, like, are he was just a Christian pastor and that was many decades ago and there was just one guest that came through. Like, like it's almost just, it, it, it's irrelevant. Like, or I don't know. C keep going. I, I, I would have responded and been like, Jake Tapper, you've hosted uh, right wing murderous people on your show. Does that mean that you're aligned with them? I mean, it's also even worse than that because it's like, Jake, you, when you were an intern at CNN, uh, they hosted, I mean, he was a youth pastor. Exactly. Like, right. Yeah, I was a youth pastor. And yeah, one of the things they did is that one of the things they do, they always pick a youth pastor to pick a world leader that you get to invite to the church. And uh, you, you know, I mean, honestly, give me a break. It's, it yeah. is, it, that's something that you laugh about. If you're the host, you go like, so I understand that they are blaming you for being in a church when you were a youth pastor at the same time that, um, uh, that Fidel Castro was there. Describe Fidel Castro too, like what? No, it's just amazing. But I, mean, it's not, I think I'm not surprised, you know, I think everyone's short of the candidates. Like candidates can do what they feel like is opportune in the moment. But I think everybody underneath them needs to stop training voters to be like Republicans on these issues. Okay, That's bring right. up two names that are very simple in these discussions: Nelson Mandela, or if you want, Barack Obama. Like the Castro's legacy is complicated. This. Tapper is being a child with his reductiveness and like on my reductive characterization of him as a dictator. What do you think, Warnock? Like, it's not that it's not that complicated. And it's also, it's also just signaling to an audience that doesn't exist, that doesn't watch CNN, that we actually are very conciliatory towards this right wing perspective. And we're going to be very fair and balanced by disingenuously asking this question that like, I don't even think Tapper necessarily believes in his heart is the biggest problem. But like, that they, they have to perform that and it makes it disingenuous.